attend the pain clinic in Broad Green. One of my coping mechanisms was reading. It's kind of what does distract me from my pain. I do read a lot anyway. And I was talking about it and one of the doctors said, we've got a reading group. I suffer with a lot of pain in my back and nerve damage and discuss about going to join the readers group, which they think may help. You know, make, help your concentration, take it away from your pain. Someone asked, did I want to try something else to help with my pain? And I'm one of them, not ventured, not gained, and I really got hooked. I wasn't really sure at first, because I'm not a very good reader. Um, I find it difficult to concentrate on that. It's a good distraction from the pain. I must have been coming to the group for about easy five years now. My, my confidence has uh, improved a lot. My, my reading has improved a lot. I, I am quite an anxious person. I, I feel quite comfortable to read while I'm in the group. It's a safe place that we can go to. Pain can be very isolating and it's nice to be with other people that kind of get it and you don't have to explain everything to. We meet before group and have a coffee and a chat and so that we can do the reading when we get to group instead of chatting. But we get on great with each other and we're always there for each other. To be honest, just it's like having a second family. We can tell when we look at each other if someone's not 100%. You know, they just say, are you okay, is your back bad, or... It's just different things like that. If you're not feeling good, just sitting there and listening to other people reading, it helps you relax. I'm not the world's best reader. I do get stuck, but even that'll have a go at times. I, f I find that with, with the distraction of the reading, it's so different to anything else that I've ever been to and it just it just does seem to help people. So, that, so that's helped me to, co to come out more. Not to be conquered by these headlong days, but to stand free, to keep the mind at brood. This haze reminds me of this fibro fog that I get and some other members of the group. There's, there's been quieter group members at different times that have kind of come and gone over time and they've, they've never really said much but then when they have it's been, it really, it's been massive and, and they've made a proper connection with whatever we're talking about and, and they, they start telling us things about them. We are a very um, closely knit group. You couldn't ask for a nicer bunch of people or nicer friends. Six years ago, I found myself having to use the wheelchair and stuff. I'd just graduated to be a primary school teacher. So I've kind of lost all of that. It's taken all that away from me. But I've been given this back sort of thing. It's, yeah, powerful stuff, this reading malarkey.